I made a list this morning of what it is that happens for a person, and often what, it has, what has happened for a person who finds themselves either in a service here on a Sunday or moving to Sunrise Ranch, coming here for a program, even coming here for a program that's not particularly focused by Sunrise, but is hosted here. They have an experience of something. And the first thing, I made a list. So you can write these down later, in case you need to talk to people about them. The first thing I notice for people is they feel something. It's in the invisible experience, but they're feeling something, whether it's here or in their classroom in school, whether it's in their family, whether it's when they're walking out in nature, they happen to see a rainbow, they see a butterfly, something. They feel something that's grander than the everyday experience that they've, they've had. And it moves them. They have an experience of, I want that, I need more of that, or I know that. So they feel it first. So the second thing they do is they look for it. They look for where else they can get it. Not because they're um, greedy, but because they liked it so much, they think it's, it's real. I know it's out there. I'm going to go looking for this. I'm going to look for it in the eyes of the people that I might have touched it in. I might take another walk in nature to see if I can experience it again. So first they feel it, and then they go looking for it. The third thing they do is they find it. They find it in a configuration of people. They find it in a place where um, it seems consistent. How many times has have you, if you're a resident here, have you run into someone who's visiting and say, what is this? I'm finding something here that I've been looking for. Number four, they decide, or you decide, to participate in it. I know this is real for me, so I'm going to do whatever you're doing that's creating it, because I looked for it, I felt it, I looked for it, I found it, and I want to do it with you, so I'm going to now participate in whatever it is that you're doing that is providing this experience, because you're not all that different from me. You are different, but you are also a human being who's living a life, making choices, and I want to participate in it with you. The next step, they create it. I'm going to create this with you. I'm participating in it. Then I realize I'm vital in this. And it's now different and more complex and more wonderful because I'm participating in it. I'm owning the fact that I'm creating it with you. This is a real possibility. This isn't like some great vacation. This isn't just a matter of luck. I am a creator of it with you. Next, protect it. When you actually have a sense as a creator that you're creating something that's magnificent with another human being, there is this compulsion to protect it. Not in the sense of keeping it to yourself, but knowing there's something sacred and holy about it. Something that you know is precious to you. So you have an awareness and a consciousness that what I'm creating is important to me, and I want to make sure it's, in, because I know it's important to me and the other people who are creating it, that we will have a safe place to do this. I won't do anything to violate it because it means a lot to me. The next thing, we're on number seven. You want to make it available to people. I mean, you've just had this incredible experience and you're standing there like, I could share this with the world. Let us create a holy, holy world together and protect it and invite the world to it. 